Hi guys, my name is Trailmaker and I'm doing a little tutorial on how to do the Liverpool objective in the new Cities in Motion 2 DLC. Before getting into the objectives of this particular scenario, uh, I'd like to note that I have made some modifications. Unfortunately, Liverpool is not a great city to commute in. Uh, so the first big one that I did was uh, in this northeastern, maybe just northern, a uh, little city here, uh, I decided to add uh, a, an overpass, a really large overpass, and this overpass will go through the entire suburb area, and it's very, very large. The second that it stops being an overpass is the area that um, I don't have any routes to. And it's good that I also have built uh, one-way off-ramps on the right-hand side only, and this makes it so that all traffic will flow pretty well and we won't see any too many traffic jams. And the areas where traffic does get congested, we're not too worried about. There was a point where I tried to do a very large overpass uh, off-ramp type thing at the front. And as much as I tried to get this to work, uh, it just never did work, and I was always forced to make the giant overpass. So one persistent problem that occurred all throughout the map was that the highway is kind of a mess. Uh, with the highway, you will have it all being one way, hopefully, and you want to have proper merging. Now, with proper merging, you want to have it so that when you are moving into a lane, you have a merge lane. So if you have a two lane highway, at most, you can only have one lane merging into that. That way, all of the traffic on the highway can go along the left side, and all the traffic along the on the right can give way to all the people trying to merge into that one lane. However, there's a lot of situations where they have a two lane highway merging in to a two-lane highway and that doesn't make a lot of sense so what I've done for this is I've added one extra lane I've turned a two-lane highway into a three-lane highway for a lot of it and then later on I shrink it back down and this just allows traffic to merge into the highway effectively and keep moving given the space constraints that I had I would have preferred to have two lanes of two traffic to merge into four, but in this case this was the best possible solution that I had. I found that too many roads in the game were trying to act like highways when they clearly weren't. They were acting like main routes in which lots of traffic are using them, and they also acted as one of the few ways to enter the highway, and that became very problematic because it congested my tram traffic. So what I did instead was I replaced the, the single one lane road with a much larger three lane road and this particular lane road has the bus sign on it so my trams can happily just float through traffic with absolutely no congestion and all the while regular traffic can flow through to the highway. On roads that were acting like main highways I decided to ignore a lot of the problems given the objective of this particular map Instead, I decided to build bridges over these main highways and simply just ignore them. Let them have congested traffic, but have the public transit completely go around it. It worked with some pretty great results. Alright, now how to do this particular scenario. Uh, you'll note the main objective for this is to get a certain amount of tourist reputation happiness. And so the big question is, what do tourists want? Uh, tourists want cheap transit to anywhere that isn't a personal residence or a workplace as an industry. So you're going to be dealing with a very limited amount of map here. Uh, the most important thing to start off doing is to try and find some hotels. Now, all hotels on this map look exactly the same. If you go to a topographical view, that is top down, you'll be able to spot the hotels as having a elongated circle or some sort of 
elliptical pattern on top of a, a square type. And they always look like this, and they're the only ones that look like these. These are the hotels. Hotels are where your tourists live. So your goal is to get these hotels to anywhere that isn't a residence or a workplace. So a lot of these also end up being pretty close to industry and also pretty close to residence. So you're going to be doing some pretty long routes. So this one that we're looking at here, I have a cluster of hotels linked by a tram. And as you move along the tram route, it'll hit more hotels, a library, a museum, an art gallery, and we move up further and we got another hotel with a department store, a cinema, swimming hall. And this route goes very short, only a few stops, but becomes very effective at getting tourists to their location. I also made sure to set up a riverboat, in fact two riverboat routes, and these ones will start on the far end island, and they go across, they will dip into all the various tourist areas and make sure that every single stop on this route was next to uh, either a hotel or an opera house or something along those lines. And I have them flow along one side of the river first and then along the next side. And these river boats will effectively connect all of your tourist stops except for the two or three interior cities. Now these ones I've linked up with uh, one having a train going across and I did eventually plan to get a, a train to the other one but by the time that happened I had actually already accomplished the task they were actually quite happy so I mean this is still a profitable route just find every single hotel link it up with some opera houses some cinemas Try and have some routes to link up all your routes, and you'll want to use these river boats as your primary main way of doing this. The trains is your secondary way of doing this, and if worse comes to worse, you can use a single bus route to go a very, very long distance. Thank you guys very, very much for joining me. If you found this video at all useful, and you'd like to see more Cities in Motion 2 content on this channel, definitely make sure to subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching.